Hello, this is Dr. Jeetan Bendor for Physician Perspectives. Allow me to present another presentation on melatonin, one of my favorite molecules. This presentation is on melatonin, a powerful antioxidant. So, melatonin is an indolamin which is mainly produced in the pineal gland during the night, so it's a hormone of darkness. But it is also produced in other organs which is not regulated by the circadian cycle, that is the night and the or light and no light cycle. And this happens in the gastrointestinal tract, ovaries, lymphocyte, macrophages, retina and skin, and other organs as well. Now this extra pineal melatonin production exerts a paracrine as well as an autocrine effect. One of the important things is that it also works as an antioxidant and that too a very powerful antioxidant. So melatonin has pleiotropic actions that is producing more than one effect. Sleep is one part of it. This, this illustration is just to reiterate the point that melatonin is an antioxidant as well. In this paper, melatonin as an antioxidant under promises but over delivers. The authors talk about melatonin which is uncommonly effective in reducing oxidative stress under a remarkably large number of circumstances. And how it achieves that is via a variety of means. Direct, that is direct detoxification of reactive oxygen and reactive nitrogen species. And indirectly by stimulating antioxidant enzymes while suppressing the activity of pro-oxidant enzymes. One of the important aspects of melatonin is its high concentration in mitochondria, which likely aids in its capacity to resist oxidative stress and cellular apoptosis. I think this is very central because there is credible evidence to suggest that melatonin should be classified as a mitochondria targeted antioxidant. This is important because during aging, the mitochondria gets affected and the loss of energy within cells or cellular systems is perhaps one of the most important or the most challenging part of aging. A very interesting illustration of the multiple actions of melatonin in reducing oxidative stress. So this red area here indicates the reactive oxygen species and the reactive nitrogen species that are shown to be neutralized by melatonin and its metabolites. The blue area here identifies enzymes that impact the redox, that is reduction and oxidative stress of cells. And the black areas here, or the black area here, list features that aid melatonin in terms of its ability to quench free radicals and reduce oxidative damage. So why am I talking about the antioxidant properties of melatonin? This is just an introduction. The reason I am very interested in that is also because of the fact that I am interested in anti-aging. So what we also know is that melatonin levels drop as we age. Here is a figure to show that. And here's another figure that shows that melatonin levels drop as we age even during the day. This daytime secretion of melatonin happens in the non-pineal glands that I mentioned earlier. So Melatonin can be given to mice to extend a life. So, and if you extend that, can it happen in humans? Why not? So here is an interesting uh, life phase equivalency graph, which shows that a 24-month-old mouse is equivalent to a 69-year-old human. So if you increase the lifespan of a mouse, could that happen in humans? interesting thought. I'll be talking more about that soon. 
and I look forward to more presentations on melatonin as well as anti-aging. Thank you for watching.